Hi, I'm Haley. I'm with the Emerald Public Library East Branch, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make origami paper cranes. So all you'll need for this project is a single sheet of paper. I'm using a 6x6, but the only requirement is it needs to be square, and you'll need hands in order to fold it. So let's get started. To start off, you're going to want to take your paper, and whatever size you don't want showing is the size you'll want to work with. To start, you're going to fold it in half. And you're going to do this the other way as well. You'll want to crease to make sure you can see the folds. Next, you're going to go corner to corner. For both, for each corner. With all your creases, you're going to want to fold it in half, but push back in a sense. So you're folding a corner in. And you'll want to do that for the other side as well. Now I'll leave you with a diamond of wool smaller square. Next you're going to take both sides and crease it in, going both ways. Just folding it to the middle. And you're going to do that with all four pieces that come outward, so on both sides. Once you have all of them folded, you're going to do a similar process to the beginning, opening it up and folding in on that crease for both sides. Now that you have this shape, you're going to want to fold up so you can see the fold that you did earlier, essentially. And once again, you're going to follow it on the other side as well. You want it to lay as flat as possible, if that means readjusting some of the previous folds, then that's okay. You want the side that can open up, and you're going to take the, those edges and fold them in once again. And you'll want to do this on both sides. on the front and the back. And 
And now you want to fold, take the halves and fold up and make it and get it to crease going both ways. And do this with the other half too. Then you're going to turn it to the side and open up and fold it in. Doing that with both halves. You'll want the two halves to come up about the same heights on the bottom. With this shape, you want to fold down the taller halves on both sides to give it the wings. And the last step is to take one side and fold it in itself for just a crease. And that's how you make a paper crate. Thank you for watching and joining me in making paper cranes. If you like this video and want to see more from the Emerald Public Library, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Farewell!